Okay, now let's get into the good stuff. Point Cloud 6 and AutoCAD 2011. What's happening? Well, first of all, for Point Cloud Management in AutoCAD 2011, the user has two choices. We're continuing to support our PTC engine, but we now have migrated all of our features over to the PCG engine support as well. Now, Qubit is proud to be the first company in the world to provide additional tools and functionality on top of the AutoCAD 2011 PCG engine. So to import the clouds now in 2011, you can use native AutoCAD. But to work with them, you need a solution. And in this case, the solution is Qubit Point Cloud. So we do have a new focus now. And that focus is on design automation, feature recognition, and meeting special industry needs. And I'll continue to reiterate these points. We no longer have to focus as much on supporting a Point Cloud engine. Thus, this gives us more time for working on things like feature recognition, feature extraction. And you can see the graphic to the right that our new foundation is the PCG engine. And on top of that are Qubit tools. And you can see where we're gearing some of our modeling tools for the future. Now Qubit can integrate data from various types of scanners. And we're going to go over some different import options that were left out of AutoCAD 2011 that Qubit's filling in for. Okay, so there are some features when working with laser scan data that are absolutely necessary if you want to start designing and post-processing. Some of these features include the ability to slice and cut up the cloud, masking and clipping. These things are absolutely essential, and then Qubit takes it a step further and provides things like multi-slicing or multi-slicing along a divine, defined path in AutoCAD. So I am going to demonstrate some of this. We've also added a new section manager, which I'll share with you. So let me uh, shoot over to my AutoCAD. And I'm going to bring in a cloud. And what you notice now in the point cloud menu as well is that I can uh, manage Qubit PTCs as well as PCG files here. When I insert a point cloud, I have two options. I can insert either the PCG or the PTC. In this case, we're going to use the new engine. And I'm going to choose this file. And you'll notice it comes in fast. And let me put it in wireframe. OK, and the other thing you notice just off to the left here is what our new section manager, now in a palette form. We've had requests in the past to turn our old section manager into a palette so you don't have to turn it on and off in order to access it. Now you can ac access all your sections and slices right here. And I'm going to put it off to the side again. OK, so we were talking about essential features. And one of those is simple slicing. So just like in classic Qubit Point Cloud, now working with the PCG, if I want to take a slice through this building, I'm going to take a slice on the XY plane. And I'm going to choose two points to do so, one here and then maybe another here. And you can see the section through. And as if I rotate to the top, you see the floor plan. Now I can name this section as well if I want to come back to it later. Let's say I call it slice one. And now it's saved. And in addition to that, I can shift it up and down the UCS if I like. You can see the slice moving up and down and the contour of the cloud changing as I shift. In addition to that, if I want to change the thickness, maybe I want to make the slice a little bit thinner. You can see in the command prompt, Slice thickness is at 1.59, so maybe I'll make it 0.5. And let me zoom in so you can see it shrink down. And you can see the slice gets thinner. Pretty nice. So if I want to turn on all points again, I can do that as well. No problem. This is a nice cloud. OK, now if I'm finished working with slice 1, I can simply delete this section. Move this toolbar for you. delete. Now we're working with all points. And in addition to single slice, and we can also multi-slice. And in this case, I want to define multiple slices along the UCS. You can also slice along a curve. So if you're working with, let's say, a street or tunnel, you could define a path for the multi-slice. And again, let's slice along the XY. This example is in meters, so I'm going to slice every two meters and create a station list. So 
every two meters it's going to give me a slice. And let's make our slice thickness at 0.1 and finish. Now you see multiple slices, each one two meters from the next. A great way to analyze the cloud and work from section to section can also help you with your modeling. You also notice each one of these slices is accessible in your section manager. I can highlight all of them. Let's say I want to turn them off and work with one section at a time. I can also do something such as create a UCS directly from the slice on the screen. So if I would like to change my UCS in relation to the slice, simply click UCS from slice and go into my new plan view. Now I'm looking directly from the top in the new section. Okay, now I'm not going to show clash detection today, but we did want to mention that this feature is working and is available with the PCG engine as well as the PTC. Now the clash detection features, what it will do is detect any clashes between points and solids. And each one of those clashes will be stored in the section manager for further analysis. So if you'd like to trial that, you can. 